everyone, Aaron Rizzo Cars here for another review, and today we're going to be reviewing um, pretty much every single one of the new blind bags, blind bag, I'm trying to do the blind bags of the uh, Cars, Lightning McQueen, you know, and there are six of them. So, I got the, my mom got these from Walmart, and you know, kind of made them for Easter, you know, um, now they didn't have Cactus McQueen, I believe. And so I just kind of put this in here. I will get Cactus McQueen, you know, so I could get the box and get a better version of it. I mean, this one's pretty good. You know, it just has a few scratches right there on the cactus. It's in okay condition, you know. It's in alright condition, like 90 or 80% condition. But anyways, I'm going to just kind of back the camera up so you can see all these cars. But anyways, so today I'm going to go review every single one. And I'm going to start with number one. Snow Soul McQueen, which if you want, you can watch that video. I've already made a video of this car. So there's a little chip on this head. I'm gonna have to buy that again if I was RC Cars 5. But I'm not, and I'm just gonna have to live with it and deal with it. But anyways, uh, you know, we have this car review, so I'll take that out of the way. Now let's go on with number two. Dirt track line McQueen. There's the back, if you are interested of what it looks like, the siding, the Mattel, cars, all that kind of stuff, Disney. But anyways, so here's a Dirt Track McQueen, and this is one of my favorites to come out of this pack. You know, next to the Smell Soul McQueen, because I don't have... I had them when I was little, but I lost them, and I had the 2006 version, or 7 version, 1 and 2. I think it was 2006. But I'm going to compare them to the normal McQueen. Sadly, I'm going to have to compare them. What do I? I need to get a, a normal McQueen so I can compare him to cars that are the same model as him, you know? I mean, I guess I, my, I think I'm just gonna try to get that movie moments one. But Sally, this is the only one I have to, have to compare with the tar splat. But anyways, so as you can see, this paint isn't that shiny. You know, I mean, if you see like all the shines, you know, sparkles or reflection, you know, that looks really nice. You know, with the paint, how it's reflecting off the light. You know, and let's just get this little light for instance. See how it's like reflecting off of it. You know, like the paint looks really nice. This one, it, it's just not really reflecting. It's just light on him. You know, there isn't really any reflection. And that's because he's dirty, you know, and the paint won't reflect because he's dirty. Which I think that looks really nice, you know. It looks realistic. And there was like dirt on the side, which looks kind of faded, you know, paint. Which I must say, Mattel, one of my favorite cars you've made. One of my favorites of McQueen. That you made, especially back then in 2006. So, as you can see, it says 95, you know, Light McQueen, normal stuff like that. And this is the straight eye variant, you know, which are uh, flat eye variants. And as you don't know, versus this McQueen right here, this is the 2007 version. So, you see, there's like a little depth in the eyes. Like, if you move up, it kind of moves up. While this version is just flat. Same thing as this version, it's just flat, you know? Um,. I think I might have another car for example. Somewhere around here. Eh, I don't know. Anyways, that is just an example of McQueen. He looks really nice. Now he does have money cash, which really does remind me of the new Muddy Slash McQueen as I can't remember his name, Christer Chengel. I can't remember his name, I'm sorry. But uh here is the base, you know, which I guess is alright, you know. The tires, I wish they were kind of a little different, you know. Like, maybe the normal, standard, like, your tires with this color on it, maybe. Like, the, you know, and maybe they could have done some in the front as well with this paint. Just suggestions. And they didn't color his teeth for some reason. That, I actually complained about that when I was little. Like, he has no teeth. He, he it's his gums. He lost his teeth. Um, yeah, um, hopefully one day in the future they might add the teeth there and add the rusties in the back. That would look nice, but it's always one of my favorites and kind of weird ones without the teeth, you know? He, his gums are showing. He lost the teeth. The bugs must have bit his teeth off. That sounded so boring and long and whoa. One thing I want to mention real fast is that, for instance... I have myself here, the well, bottom base right here. Look how much has changed. I mean, look at this. It's just long, crazy. Well, this just has... All this says is... Well, you can't really see it, but it says, Disney Pixar China. 
and a little code right there. Well, this says coding Mattel number coding Disney Pixar made in China. More coding right here. Seriously, like the, you can't take rid of, you can't get rid of that little coding and maybe another little coding. You know, I mean, you can at least have Mattel, but I mean, seriously, I mean, it's kind of changed over the years. I really do need a new version of this, but anyways. So, uh, let's see. So this is the Mermaid Queen. I definitely rec 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 recommend. Uh. So this is the McQueen, uh, the Dirt Track McQueen. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> um, and he has a nice background. You can see he has half a McQueen. I'll show you the background at the end, but I still need the Cacti McQueen. But it's pretty much almost complete. Anyways, let's go on to number Three, which is actually Cacti McQueen. But anyways, he has a nice, you know, little side right here. You know, the only difference between the newer version, you know, is the base has more stuff at the bottom. And it has flat eye. You see how, like, it's, you know, all different curved, you know. But anyways, he has nice little cactus. He has, like, little chunks of metal added to him. Like, I don't know how they did that. And he does have the Rusties in the back, but I actually think it's okay on this one. Because as you can see, the Cactus would have covered just, uh, like, this part of the Rusties. Now, it'd be cool one day in the future if they actually add Rusties on there, you know, with that little chunk of metal covering it up. Or add, like, chunks of, uh, c Cactus on the tires, you know, because there are some Cactus on his tires, which... This McCoy was seen, and when he was pulling Bessie and Guido and Luigi were trying to talk to him and getting some tires and red splashed water on him... That was the scene as McQueen was showing, pulling Bessie. Not the scene when he crashed into the cactus, because there was none all over his body. As you can see, he has some little chunks of metal back here, you know, on the side roof. And it looks really nice, you know? I mean, I love this diecast. This is another one of the great diecasts that came out back then in 2007, like this one. In 2006 as well. Now, this, I really do recommend you getting this one as well, you know, if you... Really want it, you know, because it looks really nice. The expression is really cool, too, you know. One of the best die casts back then that they made of 2007. Anyways, uh, oh, I should, I don't have this car, so never mind. Now, on to, um, not the great review of the car. Um, so here is the tongue lightning queen, and he has a mouth plate that looks like it's about to fall off. It looks like his mouth is about to fall off. How heavy is your tongue, McQueen? Seriously. But anyways, you can see it has some little detail right here. The lightning bolts. No rusties, which they could have added this year. Because it isn't really that hard to print rusties on the back. I mean, they did it to this McQueen. The only time they ever corrected that was the normal McQueen. Seriously. Correct it already, Mattel. Seriously, please. But uh, if you remember, this McQueen was seen... In the one little scene when he was flying in the air, stuck his tongue out, you know, and like the metal part, I mean, the separate piece right here, it doesn't really look that good. It's just, I mean, one is falling off, it's not really in there good at all. It's like, pull it up, push it in there, and the color looks off. I mean, the tongue, you know, the expression looks really nice. If there was a full body, I would love this die cast. I would really like it. I just don't like the mouth plate at all. I mean, it looks like it's falling off. But enough with the mouth plate. The expression looks really nice. I must say, it looks just like it did in the movie, except his tires were in a weird position. That would make a really good, like, uh, Comic-Con exclusive McQueen with, you know, the tongue sticking out with the tires all around, you know? Like, sticking out, on, you know, on the side. That would make a really good, you know, like, limited edition McQueen. But anyways, I can see it's a nice, nice bolt right there, you know? Um, it's a different color for some reason. I guess it's supposed to represent that the track is all lit up and, you know, lit up his lightning bolt. I don't know, really, about, you know, it's just mixed up a lot. I mean, this lightning bolt is, like, in a different position, you know, than normal. This lightning bolt looks different, you know, it's on the side. It's all confusing, you know, it's, like, up. It's, like, this lightning bolt, it's, like, up here and on the side at all. It's really confusing around with this McQueen. But anyways, here's this McQueen, probably my least favorite from this pack, you know, but I will. So, on to the next car. Um, we're on the last two, by the way. Uh, it is 
Dynaco Lightning McQueen. Oh, I'm sorry. Bling Bling Lightning McQueen. Wrong image. I thought I was about to get Dynaco McQueen, but nope. I mean, I still like this McQueen. I mean, I don't have it. Um, I do have the Dynaco McQueen over here, though. Uh, you know, um, except I painted it, you know, like, just paint all over it, you know, around that. But, uh... You know, the Danico symbol is just a little different color for some reason, and there's Danico in the back, unlike this one. And hopefully one day, Mikkel can, like, change it. Also, like, the lighting's different. I don't know, it's just... The two different McQueens, you know, they, they really just need to add this lightning with normal tires. Someone should make a custom of that. Seriously, how has no one made a custom of this McQueen right here with these tires? Seriously, no one's made a custom of that? Fuck, Strife, are you listening? <laughs> uh, anyways, um... So, this is a cool car, you know, number five. And, um, so, he has the nice little Dynaco right there, you know, same base as all of these, you know, like, they're all the same, except for this one, it's just different color, but still, they're all the same bases, because they're all McQueen. But, uh, so, it has Dynaco in the back, you know, it has nothing to go back under here. Uh, 95, you know, the blue looks really nice with the lightning bolt. No stickers for some reason. I love the tires. Now, they are kind of inaccurate to the movie. They made two versions, which they are both kind of inaccurate. So, they made one version. This is the silver ends. But they made another version with gold rims. Completely gold and completely silver. The real version... So, as you can see, there's like a piston cup right in the wheel. The piston cup is gold. And the outlining of the rims, you know, is silver. Like, the little lines kind of coming out of the piston cup is silver. While the piston cup itself is gold. I'm seriously thinking of painting this right here. Because I think I can. Because I have a good paint paint of gold. Sorry, guys. Um, has a nice lightning bolt in a different light color. Unlike the normal lightning bolt. And I think I might be on tension. You know, like, on purpose. You know? Unlike this being really light. And up here. Not right here. Which this is the right position. Anyways. Nice expression. You know, of course... This expression is, like, the same as this one, except the eyes are in a different position. Which, I think this is actually kind of accurate, because he was, like, in this position, showing off his wheels, you know? Um, which was obviously a merchandising thing, but anyways. The Danica looks really nice up here. And, um, like, McQueen in blue, you know, or light, light blue, you know? Like, uh, you know, like, for instance, brand new Mater colors, you know? Hey, this would be, this would be, like, one of his entourage, you know, if he was Danico. Yeah, but let's compare this McQueen to the King right here. You know, they look kind of similar. And the Danico is right here. Of course, he has his lightning bolt. You know, his own design. Danico right there. You know. Oh, I should probably get my new Danico racer, Cal Weathers. Okay, let me get them real fast. Uh, I have them right here. Yeah, I got Cal Racer. Cal. Cal Racer. I got Cal Weathers, which is the new Danica Racer. Gotcha. No, I'm sorry, guys. I had to pull a prank on you. I missed April Fool's Day, alright? I, I had I was busy that day, and I did, I barely had any time. I, I missed. I didn't get to get shot for April Fool's Day, so I, I just had to do that. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. But anyways, this is a really cool McQueen, and another one of the cool ones. Now, this is also a nice one. Uh, tumbling, tumble, tumble, tumbleweed, lightning McQueen. And my stand thing is fell. Okay. Uh, but, uh, he's number six out of six. And it says lightning McQueen on the bottom of this one, which I will show you the picture at the end, even though it's not going to be 100% complete. But I'm sure you can find another picture of the complete version. But here it is. He has a nice expression and no mouth plate. Okay, um, <coughs> sorry guys, uh, I had to do that, but, um, he is a nice die cast, now the tumbleweed, I don't like that much, I mean, it kind of has some little brown to it, like, less like, a l look less like a fruit that I can't remember the name of, like a cabbage on his roof, or a, I don't want to say cucumber, <laughs> or, uh, I can't remember this, little, uh, bro broccoli, broccoli, you know, 
I mean, it really does look like it. They could have made that a little bit better, or, you know, maybe one day in the future they could. And maybe at the little tar spot. Now, one thing that probably makes lightning uh, really nice, if they added this paint, not the paint style, just that little, you know, kind of touch of dust on it on this version, because it really had dust around that, you know. But the expression looks really nice. Now, one thing they could have done is probably make, like, the tires go in, you know, because they kind of did it for this McCoy, you know, like his tires are in. Well, this, you know, like in this position, because his tires were in this position in the movie, you know, and they could have easily done it for this one, because he was like laying down with a bush on his head, which would have been a nice, you know, in my opinion, but I think Felix Drive made a custom of that, but it looks really nice. Now, I had to get this one. L look what I did to my other one. Seriously, I drew like dust on it. That's what I tried to do. It looks awful. I mean, even the bush. Actually, the bush looks better. You know, with the drawings on. Maybe I should draw this one. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, this one I'm gonna try to keep it in good condition. I like this one. Looks not really that great. But yeah. So here are all of the cars. You know, pr technically, pretty much all the cars. I mean, the Cactus McQueen. I do have. You know, but uh, it's just a little bit different in some areas. Which I will try to buy to get the box and the perfect condition of the race car. Now, let's do the little box, shall we? Which, by the way, do you like my little background? The background, you know, my little background of some of the cars, you know.